Hey, what's up, Internet? Look at this. That's what I'm going to use to re record the sound with. My goodness. Finally get some quality sound with the old iPhone there. I sure could use some help. Yeah, hey, man, I think this guy needs some help. Yeah, I'll give you a hand. Okay, so, making this video to try and help you maybe save a couple bucks uh, regarding scanning your check engine light. And it's a Bluetooth adapter. Plugs into your car, right there. And you can go ahead and uh, scan stuff with it using one of your mini. If you've, you're like me, got stuff lying around like you got an iPod or an Android. Here's an iPad. We can use all of these. It's like a lot of computing power here. Okay. Let's give this a shot. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how this works. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Okay. Yeah. So my OBD2 plug is down. Nah, there we go. Okay. Now I'm looking at it. And specifically, I'm going to use the Torque app. Now I spent like five bucks on it. And uh, it works out pretty good. So let's go ahead and check that out. I'm trying to. So this phone is new to me. Oh gosh. It's the new Google. Uh, new Android? Google? Android? Lollipops or Kit Kats or I don't know what's going on. So I'm going to do Bluetooth. I've had some issues before, so this is what it looks like. So I'm going to pair with the OBD2. It's pairing. And I think it's. Uh, yeah, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna press OK. Now, I've had issues with this before. I have an ASUS transformer, and it has a hard time connecting with uh, this Bluetooth adapter. This time it worked out well. So let's go ahead and open up the Torque app. Okay. And uh, let's get some real-time information going. I'm gonna go ahead and tip this guy. Take a look at it that way. You got gauges and stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and start the car. Oh yeah. Got your RPMs and then your speed, which I'm not going anywhere right now. Uh, it's got throttle, 13.3. Let's give it a little. Uh, let's give it a little throttle. Apparently that's only 19. I'm not gonna go wide open throttle with this. I don't need to do that. Ooh, there's lots of gauges. Whoa. I'm just gonna sit at 2,000 on my tack on the end. Eh, can't do that. 1,500? Yeah. Uh, overall, this app is pretty, pretty bomb diggity. It's got a lot of good stuff. You can also just like add, add displays pretty easily. Oh, quarter mile. Yeah. Okay. Boost right negative. So let's go ahead and. Ooh, nice. Look at that. Ooh, do you see that? So, lots of gauges. That's pretty cool. Now, I don't think I have issues right now with fault codes, but this is this is your bread and butter right here. I'm going to tap. I'm going to tap to scan some codes. And it's scanning. It's taking a little while. So while we're waiting, I'll let you know that it, for me, does not work with the SRS codes, which is a supplemental restraint system or airbags, right? Um, at, at least it, airbags is involved with that. Sounds like someone's riding a lawnmower. <laughs> no fault codes. Reading fault codes with this app and this device works well. I've, I've done that in the past and it works well. When you're researching your trouble codes and you see that a part's bad, for instance, the oxygen sensor heater unit, it might not be the case that you just need to replace your oxygen sensor because, for instance, if you have bad, like, corrosion between your battery terminals or in, just in your electrical system in general, that could drop the, like, the operating voltage, which could also lead to a uh, elongated duration of warming up of the heater sensor or the heater unit in the O2 sensor, which would make it look like it's bad. So, if you have an O2 sensor that's popping off, before you spend the 75 to 150 ish dollars on it yourself, try to uh, clean your battery terminals or charge your battery. Use this app. You can also 
You can also wipe out the codes so you read them and then you just wipe it out. And then if the part is still bad, it, the, the codes will come on. And then you'll just read them again. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. Coolest part, I think, is this real-time thing. It's pretty awesome. So yeah, I hope this video helped you out in some way. Uh, got you some little know-how to go with... with uh... icing conditions. That was icy? There's like not even a cloud in the sky. What do you think we are, man? <laughs> That's weird. So, yeah, if you have a phone and you have like 20-ish dollars, you might want to just go ahead and order one of these things online. Okay, and I just recently purchased uh, one of these from uh, Amazon as well. I think it's Amazon. The other one I bought from eBay, this one I bought from Amazon. And it is, uh, it's a Wi-Fi. It's a Wi-Fi deal. So this Bluetooth one I know works with Android stuff but I have an iPad as well and maybe that's all you have is an iDevice so this Wi-Fi one's supposed to work with that I'll link that somewhere here and you go ahead and check that out if you have an iDevice if not uh, yeah I hope this video helped you out in some way like or subscribe if uh, you enjoyed this video or want to see more like it I'll leave a comment if you want to say stuff anyway I hope that helped See you later, Internet. I sure could use some help. Yeah, hey, man, I think this guy needs some help. Yeah, I'll give you a hand.